Namaste. How's it going? I'll be focusing on the alignment and the placement of the shoulders and the upper back in the practice of the Shir Sasana or the headstand. So this is an advanced tutorial. Unless your headstand is stable, you can breathe through it in and out of it. Yeah, lightly. Don't do this technique. Okay. So in the practice of the Shir Sasana, yeah, so you want your arm bones to be moving away from your head not towards the neck and the shoulders. So it means don't dump it. You have to press away from the floor and then move the arm bones away from the head. Yeah, so going behind you since you're upside down and not towards the front plane. Okay, so pressing. Good. So lifting all the way up. Okay, and then once you're there, all right. So you want your arm bones to be moving away from your neck and your head towards yeah, the, uh, the anterior side or the front of your body yeah, and push away, not hunch it. Here, press. All right. And that will give you the what? Yeah, the grip. Yeah, so you can keep yeah, your neck and your head light as you practice. And then you have to breathe with it. Inhaling, definitely the breath. Yes, you're going to send yeah, your breath up to your hips since you're upside down. Yeah, shoulders, arm bones back. Yeah, away from your neck and away from your head. Such so. All right, not towards the ear, but away from your head and the ears. All right, and to come. Yeah, back, the same thing, inhaling. Right. The release is inhaling. Don't dump it. And then once the toes touch the floor, exhale. Yeah, arm bones away from the neck. And then move away from the stretch. Move away from the pressure. Place your knees down and recover. All right, again, move your arm bones, the shoulders and the upper back away from your head, away from the ears by moving it towards your yeah, backside, yeah, behind you, and not in front of you. And then, of course, you need to press away and then breathe yeah, your awareness up to your hips. All right, so in the head stand, yeah, there's actually no pressure. It's like a mild touch here, and then the neck, yeah, open, but it's quite strengthening, yeah, it's quite energizing for the shoulders. And so shoulder stance could be a therapeutic practice yeah, for shoulder issues, and then lots of like upper back yeah, issues too. But of course, you need to approach this with care and lots of preparation. All right, so thank you, yeah, and I'll catch you in the next one. Namaste.